What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm filming a tutorial, an editing tutorial. I'm going to show you exactly how I make my Insta clips. I'm going to show you how to make the best Insta clips in the world, in my opinion. Now, each to their own. Not everyone enjoys my Insta clips, but if you want to have a look at one of my Insta clips, I'll show you one right now. <laughs> Talking purple, I'm shining. Yeah, I hear doing shows, I'm surviving. Per, yeah, I'm smoking loud, bitch, I'm flying. Ay. Surfing through the clouds, autopilot. Ay. Yeah, foreign shine, looking like a race car. I might go hit up my nigga space guard. Yeah, count a judge, then we off the island. Bitch, I'm moving silence. Yeah, I'm a legend, so she acting like a fucking fool. Yeah, see me doing well, I can't fuck with you. On my block, they be grinding for that fucking spot. I can't never stop. Left, right, make that nigga drop. Hit you in your socket, boy. You take off like a. To see plenty of other Insta clips like that, head over to my Instagram at jackedout and uh, you can see a variety of different types of Insta clips that I make. Uh, I haven't uploaded any very recently, but if you scroll down a bit, maybe like a month back, tons of Insta clips. And the Insta clips that I really like to make the most, I like to call Insta edits, and it's where I add music, I add effects, I add transitions, glitches sometimes, entirely filmed and edited on a mobile phone. So basically, I really, really wanted to make a video today, as in like outdoors, and it is super sunny. Although, only thing is, it is over 40 degrees today. I'm actually going to check how hot the weather is right now. Not quite over 40, but it is 36 degrees. Although, I still want to keep up the daily videos for this week to make up for only two videos last week. You guys have been begging me to make a tutorial on how I make my Insta clips, how to make the best Insta clips in the world, I personally think. Um, not, as in, not just my Insta clips, but, you know, everyone who makes Insta edits. I think they're the coolest types of Insta clips in the world. So, I'm going to show you guys exactly what apps I use, what phone I use, how to add in all the transitions, all the effects, all the glitches are uh, the most efficient, low-costing way. Not that there's really any money involved. There's like one app which costs money, but it's not essential. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you pretty much everything on how I make my Insta clips. I use an iPhone. I've got an iPhone 7. I had an iPhone 5 for ages. Uh, I had an iPhone 4 at one point, obviously. I'm going to show you how to do all of this on an iPhone. So, if you have a Samsung or something other than an iPhone, uh, it's going to be a little bit different for you. But all the filming techniques and all the editing Tips will apply the same, although some of the apps might not be available on phones other than the iPhone. But if you've got an iPhone, tick. I'm going to show you exactly how I make my Insta clips. Last night, I was searching for an app that could record my screen on my phone and pretty much just make the Insta clip and then do a voiceover. Although I couldn't find any apps that would record my screen um, on my iPhone. So instead, I'm going to set up the G7X and have the iPhone in front of it showing you exactly how I make them speaking in real time, showing you as in-depth as possible how to make the Insta clip. So basically what I'm going to do is set up the camera right here on my desk, and then I'm going to have the phone out in front like this. I'll show you pretty much everything using my fingers and the phone. Before I show you how to do all the editing on the phone, I'm going to quickly run you through all the filming techniques and how to film Insta clips the best. I think it's a lot better to actually get someone to film rather than set up your phone and self-film them. I think self-filming clips looks a little amateur. Uh, it doesn't really matter if it's like a single clip for Instagram, but I think if it's in an Insta edit, uh, it should always be filmed by somebody. Don't crop out your head, keep your whole body in the frame at all times. So when you're getting someone to film, tell them to just keep your whole body in the frame at all times. Tell them to follow you and make sure you stay in the center of the camera. Don't, like, don't let the filmer kind of uh, let you slip out the side. Always stay in the center of the camera. If you've got an iPhone that can zoom, try and do slow zoom out. If the right is coming towards you, slowly zoom out. If it's going away, slowly zoom in. Or vice versa for the other way around, depending on what trick you're doing and how fast you're going. But definitely take advantage of the zoom on the phone because it's an awesome feature. You always want to be on video mode, just there, on the iPhone. Never go to slow-mo. If you want to slow-mo clips, I'll show you how to do that later in the tutorial properly. Filming it on the slow-mo, I mean, like, yeah, it's like 60 FPS. It looks a lot smoother, although I definitely recommend filming everything on the video mode, not the slow-mo mode, not the time-lapse mode, obviously. Film everything on the video mode. So there are all the filming techniques and tips I can give you guys now into the editing. You've just gotten home from the skate park or the streets, and you're ready to edit your Insta clip. So you want to log onto your phone. I suggest every time you film an Insta clip, 
and they go into your camera roll, obviously. I suggest favoriting all the Insta clips that you're going to be using in the Insta edit. All you simply have to do is hit the little love heart, which is located just down there, and you just want to tap that so it highlights blue. And then when you go to your favorites folder, which sits right next to your camera roll, this one right here, which says favorites, you want to go into that, and every single clip that you've favorited will be in there. And these are all the clips that I'll be using in the Insta Edit that I'm making today. So the first app that you want to get, um, it comes free on the iPhone 7. It is the iMovie app, which is the one located just on the left, this purple one right here. It's called iMovie. You can get it on desktop, on your Mac computers, and you can also get it on the phone. It's one of the best editing uh, apps there is, in my opinion. You can do so much with it. It is awesome. Um, if you don't have an iPhone 6 or 7, I'm pretty sure it comes free on the 6 as well, then you can pay for it. I think it's like $6.99 or $7.99, which is pretty pricey for an app, but it is definitely worth it. What you want to do is open up the app, just simply tap on it, and you want to hit the square with the plus in the middle of it. That'll mean you can start a new movie. Then you'll get an option to choose movie or trailer. You want to choose movie because you're making your own movie. And then it will give you an option to select all the clips that you want to use in the video. So I go to media up in the top left corner, and because you've favorited all your clips, you go video, favorites, and every clip that you've favorited will be right here. I do this because it's super easy to just find the clips that you want to use. And you simply click on one and hit the tick, and the tick will highlight blue. And go and do the same for every single clip that you've favorited. Now, I already imported my clips earlier in this project. And once they import, they will land into the montage like this. They will all be lined up after each other. Now, between some of the clips, you've got the transition, which is this square. You've got this square right here with the uh, vertical line through it. So you can change that to a transition like the dissolve, and sometimes it's automatically on the dissolve, which means it will dissolve between clips. Notice this transition between one clip to the other. It dissolves. I never ever use the dissolve. I mean, I might if it's like a slow motion clip, but usually I'll just go none so it goes straight into the next clip. Notice how instead of dissolving into the next clip, it just changes straight into the next clip. Now you've got all your clips in there. You can kind of cut the clip up to the specific part that you want to use. You simply just tap on the clip and grab the end of it where it's highlighted a thicker yellow and drag it and you can determine exactly how much of the clip you want to use. So for example, on this clip, me about to hop onto the rail about there is perfect and then hit play just to review it over. Yep, that's perfect. You want to add a song. You want to add a song to go with your writing. So try and use a song that uh, kind of suits the vibe of your writing. It's really up to you on whatever song you want to use. To add a song, you want to hit this plus button up here. And you just tap that. And then you want to go to the audio, which is right here. And you can go to songs. And I'm going to be choosing a song by Jay Perp called Water 7. Tap it. It'll play a little bit for you, and then you click Use, just here on the right, and select it, and it will drop straight into your project. Like so. At the bottom, the music is highlighted green. As you can see, you want to tap the music, and you want to click Foreground right here, because right now the music is background. You want to click Foreground. That way, it'll be a lot easier to edit the music, and to know if it's foreground or background. When it's foreground, it'll be highlighted uh, a blue instead of uh, if it was background it would be green so make sure you tap the green hit foreground it might automatically make it a uh, foreground but if not you just want to do that so I hit the play button and um, a lot of people think you can just import the clips import the song and there your insta clip is ready to go Incorrect. What you want to do is edit the song to the clips. So the first thing I like to do is find the drop of the song. So what I like to do is skip straight to the drop of the song. So I scroll through, play, still not at the drop, scroll through, play, still not at the drop, scroll through a little bit more, play. Okay, so the song just dropped right there. And then where the song drops, I... Hit the song and I hit split, which is right here on the bottom left corner. And split is going to divide the song into two pieces wherever you've paused the song. So I hit split and then I delete the first bit. I hit it and just hit delete. And now the only part of the song I've got left is the part of the song where it drops straight away. Listen. 
And what I do is I click and hold, and it will allow me to move the song. And I move the song all the way to the start of the project. And it drags through all the clips. And now the song is all the way at the start. For this first clip, I've got a double angle, so it's got an angle of me rolling up to the ledge. As you can see, and then it switches to another angle. Right now. And I'm going to make the drop of the song drop exactly when I land the first trick. So first of all, I'm going to trim this clip a little bit. This is a first angle of uh, two angles. And I'm just going to drag this clip a little bit shorter to where I'm about to go for the 50-50. And now the drop of the song, I try and line up when I land the manual combo. So I'll review it through once, drag it a little bit bigger, I'll see if I land on the drop. So the song dropped a little bit early, so what I can do is just grab the song, move it down a bit so it drops a little bit later. Still a tiny bit early. Click, hold, drag it down a little bit more. Tiny bit early. I'm like a perfectionist when it comes to this stuff. Perfect. So notice how when I land the manual trick, when I land the manual to full whip, the song drops at the same time. I'll move it a tiny bit more. Now listen to this. Perfect, so then once I've got the drop sorted out, I can get the rest of the song and drag it up to the start, and it will look like this. And then on the beat, straight after it drops, right there, I'm going to split the clip, select it, hit split, and then delete the end part. So when that next beat kind of hits, it switches to the next clip. And then I edit this clip to land on the beat as well. So I'm going to make it a little bit longer, this clip. And then on the beat again, I'll split it. And then notice how when I hit the kink of the rail, there was also a little bit of a beat. Now I've got a bit of security footage, and if you want to speed up a clip or slow down a clip, so I've got this one clip here, and it's a clip of Matt Duncanson doing a 5-0 on the ledge, and then it goes up to the security guard's face. And I want to have Matt doing the 5-0, and then I'm going to speed it up to the security guy's head, so... On this beat, I select the clip, I hit split, and then the clip that I have right here, I go down to this feature just here, this one just there, and I select that. And now you can adjust this little dial here. If you drag it down to the bottom, it'll make the clip slower, and if you drag it up to the top, it'll make the clip faster. So this is times two speed. This is double the speed. And then on the beat again, I'm going to select it, split, and then bring it back down to normal speed, like that. And then it will look like this. And then on that next beat, if the clip isn't long enough, you can just drag it to make it a little bit longer. And if the clip just isn't long enough in general, then you might have to find an extra piece of B-roll you can add into it. So I'm going to find the next drop of the song. Right there. Drag it a little bit shorter. And then I've got the manual clip. I've got a second angle. Notice how I landed on the beat again. Now, I want to slow-mo that finger whip. Because I want to land on the beat, although the clip isn't long enough, you can add some slow-mo in. So what you want to do is you can just kind of put your thumb down or your finger down and kind of drag through and go frame by frame. And I want to start the slow-mo as soon as I see my deck rise above that chair. Select it, hit split. And then you want to go down to this thing again. And you can adjust the slow-mo. There's plenty of different options you can do with the slow-mo. So I'm going to drag it down about two notches to the left. And notice how it will go into a slow-mo. 
And then when I land on that beat, I want it to go back to normal speed. So just before I land, hit it, split, drag it back up to the normal speed, and it will look like this. Okay, so the song kind of ended there. I just have to drag this song a little bit longer. Keep dragging this song longer and longer and longer. And then now you've kind of gotten used to editing the song to the clip. So basically you can drag around the song. If you want to, you can split the song by simply tapping on it, hitting split. If you want to split a clip, you simply tap on it and hit split, and it will split the clip. If you want to add all the slow motions in, you simply go down to that right there. And by dragging this dial to the left, it will slow-mo it, and by dragging it up towards the rabbit, it'll make it fast motion. Now you want to find the ending of the video. So I've ended with this banger right here, a front feeble whip front smith triple heel. And I land on slow motion. I think landing on slow motion on the last trick looks the best. And then you can have the clip cut out on a beat, or you can have it fade out, which I think is also really cool. Go to this little settings widget right here, click on that, and then you can choose theme music, fade in from black, fade out from black, and I'm going to select fade out from black, and now it will automatically fade out the video clip. Watch this. See how it faded out to black? And then what you can do to end the song, because it sounds pretty bad and looks kind of amateur if the song just randomly ends and goes back to the start of the clip, you can fade out the music, which is an awesome feature. So you just want to select the song, and you want to go to the volume, select it, and then you've got this option right here on the side which says fade. And you can hit fade, and you'll get this little yellow thing up here, and you can just drag it along and it will fade out the music. I like to have it fade out about halfway through the last clip, and notice now how the song slowly fades out. So I reckon that is a lot better. And by the way guys, I didn't edit this perfectly, I just showed you like the main tips on how I make them, like the slow motions, the cuts and all of that. So now you've got your Insta clip all edited, you're really, really happy with it. Now what you wanna do is save the clip. This app costs nothing to save clips to your camera roll, all you want to click is done, which is right up here in the top left corner. Hit done, like so, and then it will take you to here. And you want to hit the export button, which is in the middle, just to the left of the trash. Then you want to go save video, which is second from the right. And then you can choose the quality you want to save it in. Medium, which is 360p, large, 540p, HD, 720p, and HD, 1080p. I always save it as the highest quality possible. And then it will start exporting the movie and it will start loading up. If you're on low battery, I'm pretty sure if you're under 20% of battery, it'll give you a warning saying, are you sure you want to save this clip with low battery? And you can just click yes. Or if you don't want to, you can click no. Obviously, I've got enough battery. I'm on 83%. So once it's finished exporting, this was a one minute long clip, so quite a long Insta clip, and it took about five to ten seconds to export, and then it will say, the movie was exported to your photo library. Scroll across to your camera roll, up here in your photos, go albums, camera roll, and the clip is right here. Now you want to add in some glitches. Now I haven't done glitches in my Insta clips for a long, long time now, but if you want to add some glitches in and some really, really cool effects, in my editing folder, just right there, I'll click on that. I've got this app called Glitch. It is free to buy off the App Store, costs no money, although if you want to edit videos, it costs, I think, four or five ninety nine. So I'm gonna open up that app, and now you can either choose the camera, photo editor, or video editor. Video editor, which usually costs about five dollars. And then I can select the clip that I want to use, which is the most recent clip in my camera roll, right up there. And then it will show you the clip, uh, just to approve that that's the clip that you want to use, and just click the arrow up in the top right corner. One of my favorite uh, glitches to use is the screen option. So all you want to do is hit screen. And then to make the camera shake, you want to place your finger on the video, slide it down to the bottom, move it around a bit, and the whole clip will shake and add these cool rainbow effects. If you don't like that color, you can hit mode one, 
mode 2 and mode 3 down the bottom. Mode 2 will add a kind of different color. It'll kind of create that 3D effect. And mode 3 will create a kind of purple effect purple and green effect. This app will deteriorate the quality of your Insta clip a little bit, not a lot. Once you're happy with your clip, you click the arrow up in the top right corner and you can watch your clip back. If you're happy with that, you can click the right arrow on the bottom right corner and that is going to save your clip. It's going to load up and save. Now you want to upload the clip to Instagram. Simply go to my social media folder. You want to go up to Instagram. If you don't want to add in the glitches, if you're just using the straight iMovie clip and the black is on the sides, all you want to do is hit this little arrow right here and it will crop it into the perfect size. You can add a cover frame. A cover frame is kind of like a thumbnail. I'm going to make it the finger whip. That's just going to make people look at it and be like, wow, this looks like a cool clip. Watch it back to review it. Tap for sound. It'll upload. Then once your clip is uploaded, you're going to get heaps of likes, heaps of new followers, guys. I spoke a little bit fast and I kind of rushed through it, but obviously you can just pause the video and go back and check what I said. I really, really hope I did help out. I'll be making a vlog tomorrow and the next day, so get hyped on that. I really, really hope this video did help out. If you if you do happen to make an Insta clip and use any of the tips I showed you, uh, be sure to upload it to Instagram and tag me at JackDoubt. Thank you so much for watching guys. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Like this video if you enjoyed, if this video helped you out or you enjoyed it in any other way. Leave a positive comment below if it did help and comment your Instagrams down below if you've got any Insta clips you want me to see and I'll head over and check them out. I'll try to reply to as many comments on this video as possible as well. Let's try to hit 45,000 subscribers this week, guys. That would be amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video, guys. Peace out.